today we are going to talk about how to rationalize sets and so if we say rationalization what does it mean we see rationalization what does it mean let's look at an example assuming we have the square root of 8 and we multiply it by the square root of 2 we know square root of a times square root of b is equal to square root of a times what b we know this from our previous lesson and so this will give us the square root of 8 times 2 which is equal to the square root of what 16 and the square root of 16 will give us what 4 which is a rational number what did we just do we had a set with 8 and multiplied it with another set with 2 to get a rational number so we can say that set 1 by set 2 gave us a rational number or we can say multiplying set 1 with what set 2 gave us what a rational number so this process in which root 8 which is a set was converted into a rational number by multiplying it with another set root 2 is what we call rationalization so we can say root 2 is the rationalizing factor of what root 8 that is what we multiplied root 8 with to give us what the rational number and at the same time root 8 is also a rationalizing factor of what root 2 because if you had root 2 and multiplied it with root 8 you are going to get the same for which is a rational number so we can say set 1 and set 2 are rationalizing factors of each other let's consider root 5 what will I multiply root 5 with before I get a rational number we can multiply root 5 by what root 5 root 5 by root 5 will give me what 5 which is what a rational number and so this root 5 is a rationalizing factor of this root 5 therefore we see the process of multiplying this root 5 with this root 5 to get a rational number is what we call rationalization so rationalization of set is simply multiplying a set by another set to get what a rational number okay all right but let's look at something we had root 8 over here then we multiplied it with what root 2 to get a rational number but what if we multiply root 8 by itself root 8 root 8 times root 8 will give me what 8 which is also a rational number and so we can multiply root 8 by itself root 8 to get what a rational number at the same time we can multiply root 8 by what root 2 to get what square root of what 16 which is equal to 4 it's also a rational number and in this case root 8 is a rationalizing factor of root 8 and then over here to root 2 is a rationalizing factor of root 8 this tells you that the rationalizing factor of a set is not unique the rationalizing factor of a set is not unique but if you want to rationalize a set and you are in doubt of what to multiply it with just multiply the number by itself as in this case root 8 by itself over here to root 5 by itself all right and remember this technique of multiplying a set by itself to get a rational number would work only if it is what a quadratic set like root 8 root 5 you have like root 2 root 3 root 7 and so forth all right i'll see you in the next lesson